Hello, I'm Dr. Brad Holmberg, co-founder of InvisalignDoctors.com. This tutorial is an abbreviated version of ClinkCheck Pro and the 3D controls. The full version of this tutorial can be viewed on our learning website, InvisalignDoctors.com. And there's a related tutorial that focuses more on the ClinCheck Pro interface. I recommend viewing both. Have you ever gotten a ClinCheck back and it was not what you expected? Now you're faced with making changes to the treatment plan, but you're not sure how to really make these changes. So you go ahead and submit a bunch of written instructions for the changes you want, and when it comes back, it's still not acceptable. Now what do you do? Well, there is a solution for this problem. The solution is ClinCheck Pro and the 3D controls. It's a tool for achieving amazing outcomes where the doctor has complete control over the treatment planning process. Here's a screenshot of the ClinCheck Pro interface. To turn on the 3D controls, click the Create Modification button, which is located in the upper right corner, and you can see it's circled in red. When you do this, this toolbar will appear. It is the 3D controls toolbar. Here are some of the functions you can perform using the 3D control toolbar. You can add, remove, or modify attachments. You can modify tooth movements. You can add, remove, or adjust IPR or spacing. You can develop the arches using the arch tool. You can position teeth exactly where you want them. And you can create precision cutouts for elastic use. When performing these tasks, the doctor can see the real-time effect on the outcome. You get to see your modifications immediately. There's no waiting for the technician to make the changes and send them to you two or three days later. Here's a class two case. Upper right, IPR was added to improve the right cuspid relationship. Note the real-time effect of adding that IPR in the upper right quadrant. The tooth interface allows you to view and modify all movements for any tooth. This slide shows the toolbar. I've added descriptions for each widget. You click on a tooth and the change in movement values for that tooth will appear on the toolbar. In this example, I've clicked on tooth nine. I've also clicked on the rotation widget, which is highlighted in blue. You can change the value by clicking the arrows or you can left click and drag the arrow on the tooth for more aggressive changes. The degree of rotation change is displayed on the toolbar. Here's an example of performing rotation on tooth nine. You could go ahead on any teeth and you can actually, there's a right click feature. If you right click a tooth, when you're still on the tooth interface right here, if you right click a tooth, you can select make unmovable. The tooth turns gray and it bounces back to its original position. So you can see when you compare with the original and the current position right now, it's, it's, um, it locks it in the position. You can also take a tooth. This tooth like right here has tooth number um, um, 13 has moved a little bit. So you can lock the position now, lock tooth position. It'll still move. But when you lock the position, as you make other movements, the tooth will not move any more further from this point right here. So make unmovable or lock position. And you can release the lock by right clicking and unlock. And you can release the make unmovable by selecting make movable. Notice when you do that though, that tooth number um, 15 still stays in its original position. And this tooth moves like it did before. That's make unmovable and lock position. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. Consider joining our community of Invisalign doctors on InvisalignDoctors.com. This tutorial and many more can be viewed in their entirety. Personalized case assistance is also available on our site.